Hey my toasties, it's Emma and today we are back on Phil Life. And we've got a um, boy just howling for some reason. Uh, child is unhappy, come on Phil. Instead of beating up a teddy bear, can you... Oh. Mac Mackenzie, come on. Be a good mother, please. And Phil is back to kicking a ball around again. Like, oh my god, Phil. We've had this problem in the last episode. Right, so today, our goal is already half of the next level. What? How did you do that? Uh, but today, our goal is to go out and, you know, become a master vampire. Right, you gotta be quick because it's daylight. Oh, okay. You didn't like the bear suit, I guess. Phil, hurry up. Just get inside, please. Phil. Stop being annoying. Just get inside. Oh, right. Now you need to go and do this. Like, go and sleep, Phil, please. Because you spent too much time outside. So yeah, our mission now is to start raising our skill. I mean, we need to get to this level so we can actually <laughs> create some vampires. I mean, the annoying thing about it is we need to befriend people to turn them into. Oh, I'm singing. To turn them into vampires, which you know, who needs friends? Hi, Evie. I'm going to drink your plasma. <laughs> Comes the bear. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I've called to inform you that your great, great grand second once removed cousin's friend grandpa has passed away and left you a vast fortune yes please very well however now that you've accepted you must inf i must inform you that you only get this for money if you become married within seven days okay summer is your time to shine i am allowing you out of the basement Allow access to Summer. Come on, Summer. Bill, you can do your own thing now. Uh, Caleb. Let's go married to Caleb. Why not? They can live together forever in the basement. I mean, Caleb will live forever. Summer won't. Or we... Oh, Caleb's here. Alright, come on, Caleb. You can say... Come on, Summer. It's your turn to shine. Hi. I've come to marry you. <laughs> come on. We need this. We need this. We need... Come on. I've never had that phone call before. I don't. Weird. I think she's just happy that she's outside the basement. I think that's why she's so happy. She's just, she's like, hey, I'm. I've just. I've just come out of the basement of my house. I've been locked in there forever, and I've finally been allowed to come out. Whoa! Her friendship with him went way up really quickly. I mean, this must be a sign that they are. Suit for one another. What about cooking? He likes food. See, he likes food. Oh, Caleb likes painting. This might be good for us. He's immortal and he likes painting. Uh, he might actually fit in quite well in the basement. Right, let's, let's start the romance stuff. Hopefully it's going to work. Oh, it is working. Nice. Right. Keep going, Summer. We need this. We need this money for the, for the overlord. Caleb, stop running away. Uh, actually, we're gonna we're gonna head home because she's exhausted, and we're gonna we're gonna come back again tomorrow because you're gonna do us great favors, Summer. You can sleep in the fancy bed. I'm I'm gonna allow that. And Phil's still in his bear suit. Okay, All right. I'm gonna actually make you quit your job, uh, Summer, because we need all the time we can get. Of course, no one's home. Just invite Caleb over. Hey, Caleb. How are you? I'm here to marry you. <laughs> right, we gotta, we gotta do this. Just keep going. Come on, Summer. If you do this, I will let you outside of the, um, outside of the basement. I mean, Caleb's not so lucky. He's gonna be stuck in the basement, but you, you might be able to come out. Summer, you just, just say no. It might be easier if you not turned your back against him. That, that's generally how conversations work. There you go. Caleb, I'm here. Let me marry you. We need this, Caleb. It's for the family. It's for the, the overlord. Oh, he's passionate. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. First kiss, can we get it? No, no, no. Caleb, go back to passionate. 
Accepted. Right. Let's go. Let's, go. let's do this. Please, Caleb. We need this. We're both passionate. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Phil just walks through the door. Has to be boyfriend. Come on. Do this. Let it. Yay! Right, we got Caleb. Did he just run out? Oh, yeah, he did just run out. We got it just in time. Summer, you can you can go back to sleep. <laughs> we got Caleb. We're gonna we're gonna try and marry him tomorrow, and is we're hopefully gonna get a sizable inheritance. I mean, I've never had it before, so I don't know how much we would be getting, but hopefully, Summer, I just told you to go into bed and you've gone downstairs the worst beds i personally wouldn't voluntarily come down here why are you just napping anyway just go back straight to sleep I, I love how phil is still in his bear costume he must really love his bear costume because like he is really good but phil you don't need to be in your bear costume all the time summer how you doing slow progress santa is still singing and you got a special gift for you because you, you're such a good neighbor and I appreciate the kindness. What? Want to see what it is? Yeah. <laughs> is there my mailbox? Where is my mailbox? That is the good question. Oh, hi Bella. Okay, you've just bribed yourself into my house. I crafted Violet. Okay. It's almost the next day, so I think we are almost good to fill. What are you doing? Go inside the house, please. It's blizzard out here. Okay, so it is almost the next day, so we are always good to go with summer. And our what are you doing? Can you please look after yourself? Okay, Caleb. Caleb is already here. What? Where is he? He's here somewhere. I just don't know where. <laughs> so we just need to wait for like a few more hours, and then we can really look after this child. Uh, and then we can marry uh, Caleb because uh, we need this inheritance. I don't know how much the inheritance is, but it is very important that we do it. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Phil, come and look after this child. So stressful looking after a baby when there's like 30 people in the family. Oh, it's, it's Christmas. Um, we, need, we need some presents. We can't do anything special because we're, we're getting married today. I mean, it's already a special day. Should we just trap another um, another Santa Claus in the basement? Oh wait, we can't because we've got a full family. God damn it. We may have to remove one of them uh, to actually marry. Um, Santa, you are the chosen one. You uh, you get to... Actually, yeah, let's get rid of the, the two, these two. Oh my god, can you please look after yourself? Split from the household. Dwarf and Earthcake, you can leave the house or not. Why is it not working? You know what? Because it's not working for me to split those two out, I think put a boy up for adoption. This, I mean, it's sad, but boy isn't actually... God, can you actually get off? We loved boy, but we do need this extra space in the, in the family, because if we need Caleb in the family, then uh, we do need that extra space. So everyone... Let's give a, a give a moment for for our removal of boy because uh, boy was important to us he was important or oh, she was <laughs> she was an important member of the family summer it is your time to shine come on caleb come on yes right caleb it's time to get married go summer go go summer yes yes he accepted <laughs> Oh, this is in the bag. Come on. He's open immediately. This is the quickest This is the quickest engagement ever. I mean, she's in her PJs and they're on the front porch of the house. It's just beautiful. Yay! Give us that money. Really? Was that it? 12, 12 grand for that? Go on, Caleb. We need you in this house. Caleb! You coming down to the basement. <laughs> Unlock and then lock door for everyone but Phil and we'll allow summer access because uh, she, you know, her husband's down here. I'm going to leave it there guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. I mean, it is very anticlimactic. We only got 12 grand for it.
<laughs> but we're gonna leave it there guys i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already it means a lot the amount of support that you give me and i will see you guys in the next one Bye bye I can't tell what's wrong or right Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to